What is up guys, welcome back to the Tyson Guy channel, I'm the Tyson Guy and this is Photoshop Tutorials Episode 2. Uh, if you haven't watched Episode 1, you need to basically if you're going to carry on with the whole series. So that'll be, the link to Episode 1 will be in the description. So if you haven't watched that one, make sure you do before you watch this one. But in this one, I'm going to show you more now effects and things. Instead of using the pen tool and things like that, I'm going to show you more visual effects, no text, no drawings, no nothing, just complete effects for this. So you've got your layers up here, as you should have said last time. Make sure you put your main background as, obviously, a title there, so you know which one it is. Click that, and then you need to make sure that you click that, and then filter. Now down here, got everything you'll need. So I like this lens flare, but it isn't very good compared to the rest. So I'll go to render, lens flare. The image will appear there. I can spot the lens flare on there. And then these are different types of lens flares. So just that one, that one, that one. I find that 105 prime the best. You can adjust the brightness to see how good it'll go. And there you go. Bit bright, I would say. So if you want to undo, here's what you could do. You can either go to edit, undo lens flare, or the quicker way to do it will be to click the Apple key, if you're on an Apple computer, and Z, or Alt-Z, no, Control-Alt-Z, if you're using, of course, this is on a Mac, I'm using a Windows keyboard. Okay, but I think it's Control-Alt-Z on a Windows computer, if I can remember correctly. My Mac keyboard is out of battery, so therefore I can't use it. But, um, you just undo it, if you've done it wrong, then go back, filter, render, lens flare, it should be in the same place as you left it, so I just want to reduce the brightness, and... I think I'll stick that one on. Yeah, that one's nice. You know, just it's not it's not very much, but it gives it a little effect. And then I want to um, keeping it bright, but I want to you know just do a bit of lighting effects and just focus on one bit. So you go back to render lighting effects, and this little thing will pop up like that, which obviously makes it all dark. Now these little things up here, you can scale the length of it, so you can make it bigger or smaller, make it focus on one point, rotate, just move your mouse around. And then I think this is how, oh no, if you click up here, then that's the intensity, but I don't want it very intense at all, and I just want to have black edges like that. Once you've done, either just click enter or just click OK up here, like that, and then that gives it, you know, it's dark in the edges, quite nice looking, and things like that. Now, I'm going to teach you how to do a quick step now, because it, I, feel, I feel fine with that now, I'm happy how it looks, so I'm going to teach you another step. Um, this step will be gone to, you know, importing an image, but that doesn't have a transparent background already. So I'm going to type in Xbox controller. Um, oh, God, can't spell. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I've got one here. Now, the best thing to do would have a white controller on a black background or a black controller on a white background. Or get one like this where there's a line outside it seeing as that will make it better but we don't want to get one with a transparent background if you see these little checkerboards behind it then it is a transparent background but i want to in the situation where the image isn't or hasn't got a transparent background i want to teach you how to get around that now this one hasn't so i'm going to download the image there you go close that click this one and it's there desktop then import this one remember everything in photoshop works in tabs so it'll appear up there Xbox 360 controller there. So that's that in. Drag it out. Make sure this tool selected. Drag it in. Big as usual. So edit, transform, scale. Move it down. There we go. Sizing it right down. But keep it quite big for now. Now, I don't obviously want that. I don't want the white background around it seeing as it makes it look rubbish. So what I'm going to do now is go to the lasso tool up here. This is, again, let's apply that. A, a very basic tool in comparison to some of the things that you can do with Photoshop, but it needs to be addressed if you're going to put image on image. So, obviously this goes around the edges of the thing. Now that wasn't very good. So what you do, if you get it wrong, just double click and do it again. <laughs> Make sure you do follow it quite close to the edge, but it will generally stick to the edges. Now, do this very carefully. You could just use a magic wand tool or something like this, but this is because it's an Xbox controller and very easy to go around. 
But on something that's not as easy to go around, the magic wand tool will go friggin' mental and lose itself. Okay, so I've gone way off the, my desk there, but it shouldn't matter. Go up, 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 round the bumper, down, doesn't matter about that gap. Go, 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 go. Remember, this is a banner, so it's only going to be quite small. So the littlest, littlest details do not matter that much. And now if I click, if I click delete, it will delete the controller, which is what I don't want. So undo, undo clear. I need to go to um, select inverse, which will make it so it deletes the white bits. That's how you remove the background. Then I'll obviously go back here, edit, transform, scale, and then scale it right down. What have I done? Oh, was that? That was the white outline that I've just scaled for some reason. <laughs> Hold on a minute. <laughs> this is quite weird. Uh, no. Oh, 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 yeah. F sorry, forgot. Deselect first. There we go. And then we can transform and scale. So if you don't, if you deselect, then it'll just take the white outline about it. <laughs> I was quite confused then. I'll stick that. Within the red margin, remember, it has to be within the red margins. Otherwise, you know, you've got risks of... It missing, but make sure you carry on your background. I just want to stick it right there. Looks all right. You can see the white edges around it, but they can always be. If you if you take more time on it, then that won't happen. Or you could just go to rubber tool and rub it out. But for the purpose of this, I don't need to. And then that's how you import image upon image and delete the background. Now, obviously, if you're going to do this the practical way, you would find a control that already had a transparent background. For example, this one. If I imported that in, that's it. It would just already be perfectly round. But you know, not all, not every image does have that. So you've got to, you know got to know a way to work around it. Also, if you're taking your own images, then it, obviously it's not going to have a transparent background straight away, is it? Um, I think that's about it for all the effects and things. But oh, one more thing. I can mess around with the effects for, for this controller. Go to filter and all your blurs here. Say if you were doing a car. You could do this thing called motion blur, which is closing the name, and then you can, you can really distort it, or you can just have it, you know, quite fast. But that's how you would do it. Say if you want to make the wheels look fast, but not the car, you could uh, lasso tool around the wheels, and then uh, you have to obviously do it in different layers, and then just, or actually, I think if you lasso them both, and then inverse them, then you can muck around like this, and that'll make the car look fast, so... Obviously, looks stupid with a controller, but <laughs> uh, with everything else. But play around with these. They're all. I would avoid the fibers. I don't even know what that would be used for, but whatever. <laughs> They're all your blurs, distortions. You know, so you can I can ripple it. And then doesn't need to want to rip. Oh, I've d I haven't selected it. That's why. I'm, but if I call this one, oh yeah, make sure you name your layers. But God's sake. <laughs> Controller, I'll spell it wrong, 1T, there we go, controller, make sure you keep naming your layers, keeps it all organised, you know where everything is, but play around with your effects, just see what you like, it's all it's all personal preference, nothing's right, nothing's wrong in Photoshop, it's all what you like to see, it's like artwork basically, if you like it, that's it, that's, that, that's it, that's done, but um, yep, yeah, Thanks for watching, guys. Please come rate and sub. And make sure, if you've been following the tutorial so far, that you carry on. And now, these should go on till up till Christmas. If not, you know, a little bit before. Because um, there's only so much you can do. And there's only so much I know. I mean, I am no, I'm in no way completely, completely experienced with Photoshop. I know basic tools and I could I can make a banner successfully. And I can help you with it with the... With the basic to medium stuff, I'm probably like a six out of ten, so it's not. I'm not the best at it, but I th I think I want to, you know, give give some of my experience out and help other people. <laughs> and I also want to have a change from the gaming videos. But please come right and sub, and I'll see you in the next video.